everybody, it's Nat here on Conscious Creating. I'm simply going to be running you through how I wash my dishes in the most water conservative way. Basically what I do is I just start scrubbing and scrubbing away. I leave the soapy dishes on my countertop and I keep filling the countertop, keep filling the countertop. And finally, when I'm done washing all of my dishes, one by one, I, I turn the faucet on. I rinse that individual dish till it's nice and clean. I turn the faucet off and put that dish into my drying rack. Start again. Okay, I'm taking the spoon this time. I'm rinsing off the spoon and putting that in a drying rack. Basically, what I do is that I turn the faucet off when I'm done using it, which really seems like a no-brainer. But the funny thing is, is that it really isn't at the same time. Personally, for me, growing up, whenever I would watch my mother and father washing the dishes, sometimes they would just leave the faucet on. You know, it's like whether they were washing the dishes or maybe they were scrubbing the countertops and they were using it for a quick second just for the sake of ease or just to not have to go back and forth and you know like you're scrubbing something and oh let me turn it off and turn it back on and do all that whole process. I just saw them habitually leave the faucet on and I never thought that it was really a problem because I always thought that water was a resource that kind of never runs out. It's also just about awareness. I feel like a lot of us aren't really that aware of our environment and what's going on with climate change and the lack of sustainability, environmental sustainability there that's in our habits. But it's just, it's this little subtle habit twist that actually makes a huge difference. And what I'm showing in this video is also another method of rinsing your dishes, which is also supposedly even more eco-friendly than turning your faucet off and on. And this is basically filling your sink, the tub of your sink with water, with still water. And you know, you put a little uh, kind of like the sink stopper, you know, inside of it so that the water won't flow down. Or if you don't have a sink stopper like I did, I, I didn't have one. So I ended up using a plastic bucket. I ended up filling up that plastic tub with water and I rinsed each dish one by one, almost as if I was giving each dish like a little bit of a bath. Um, <laughs> And you know what's funny is that I've never tried this method before. I only did because I read articles and I did some research on how to wash dishes in general in a more sustainable way. And um, you know, I was kind of like, I, it kind of made me cringe. I felt like it was kind of gross because I thought it wouldn't really get the dishes clean. So this was a method that I heard of a while back, but I never tried doing it until I filmed this video. And the reason why is because I actually felt like it might be less hygienic because every time that I rinse a new dish, it's just going to be collecting or grabbing that other residue from the previous dishes. And the funny thing is, is that this is actually my philosophy in general about baths like that's why I just like taking showers because there's that new fresh water that's like rinsing away all that stuff on your body versus a bath always made me cringe and feel weird because I'm just like am I just here soaking in a stew of my own filth <laughs> I felt like <laughs> did I just ruin baths for everybody I feel like baths seem so romantic with like the candles and you know the sexy saxophone music and all that stuff but for me it's not that great so that's why I don't do it so I had the same idea the same philosophy about you know individually rinsing each dish in the same tub you know but the funny thing is is that I did try it I was inspecting each dish okay everybody I was like is there did any of the stuff get on it me you know it's like <laughs> I was being kind of crazy about it but you know You've got to be kind of crazy about these things when you're serious about hygiene. I was really inspecting it and the funny thing is is that I found that none of the cups or you know anything that I rinsed had the residue you know on it and you know if let's say I'm rinsing a cup and then there's like that little piece of food or kale that like got stuck on the outside as I was rinsing it I would just take my hands and you know cup some water rinse it on down. Personally, I'm still on the fence about that method. I feel like I actually have to try it for maybe a week or something to see if like just using it in the long term, like do I actually feel like the dishes got like a really good clean? But I did want to just try it and show you guys just to show you that it does work and that it does clean your dishes. Like when I did it, like when I tried it 
did the trial just now like it it worked just fine like I really inspected that dish and I was like whoa okay this cup is perfectly clean after I just rinsed it in this water that was like had like 10 other things previously rinsed in it and I think you know what that has to do with is that all of the soap and you know all of the food scraps and everything it tends to just rise to the top so really all that clean water is underneath and then you're just rinsing that and then by the time it rises to the top, you know, really no soap or food scrap. Like I have to say, like I washed quite a few dishes and that still water, it still wasn't, it didn't even build up to a point where it got that soapy or that much filled with like food scraps. And you only have to replace the water once it gets extremely soapy and, you know, fills with all these food scraps. And then, you know, you would start again with a fresh batch. So that's my take with the whole still standing water method. I think that it's, um, it's fine. We'll see if I do it in the long term though. That's basically all you have to do when it comes down to hand washing your dishes in a more water conservative way. Two methods, you know, one of them is one that I do, which is basically just turning the water on and off based on when I'm using it. And kind of, you know, stop that habit of keeping the water on forever throughout the whole time. The other method is to not have the faucet running on forever ever just fill up that side sink that you have or maybe a, a bucket with filled with water and then use that towards the very end to individually rinse each dish within the same standing water i definitely would like to research using a dishwasher and to see if that actually saves more water than the whole hand washing process maybe you know you have one and you can comment below to see if it's a lot more eco-friendly than hand washing dishes. Moving on to other tips and things that you can do to conserve water while you're washing your dishes is to basically scrape off the food scraps when you're done eating. So, you know, maybe uh, you could do it directly after you have your meal and just scrape it into the compost rather than using water to rinse off the food scraps. For all of y'all that use garbage disposal, that uses water in and of itself. Or if, you know, you're having company over or you're just feeling lazy, like let's be real, I don't wash my dishes religiously. So if you don't feel like scraping off your, your plate and getting your, your hands all dirty, you know, and you just want to do your thing, then, you know, just leave it in the sink. And then what you could do is that when you actually plan on washing your dishes later, and then at that point, you could just scrape the food off of the plates rather than using the garbage disposal at all. It's kind of interesting and funny how sometimes we have all these gadgets and tools to like do certain tasks that may seem annoying to do yourself but actually are not that annoying. It's pretty easy. You just have to scoop it up and throw it in the trash. It's like imagine what life would be like maybe if that thing were never invented. Okay everybody so that's all I have to say about hands washing dishes in a eco-friendly, water conservative kind of way. And I hope that these tips really helped out. Please comment down below how you wash your dishes and what are your specific methods? We all have our own ways of doing things and it's very interesting to hear people's process and how they do their day-to-day -day tasks. What's eco-friendly? What's not so eco-friendly? Are there any habits that you could shift? Or are you a master of conserving water and you use the standing water method and never keep that faucet on unless you need it? Keep it. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate this community that's being built here, sharing information. I absolutely love to see when there are other viewers who are, you know, commenting on other people's comments and answering questions or sharing opinions. It's just, it's really great. I feel like the community is starting to be built here, a little hub. People who are really passionate about living in a more eco-friendly way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, 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 share with other people, and subscribe for more videos like this on Conscious Creating. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.